Frankie de Jong's protracted move from Barcelona to Manchester United has become the transfer that's really frustrated a lot of United fans. But there's a big development and a big update today as Richard Arnold and John Murto have both been pictured in Barcelona meeting directly with Barcelona's directors. I <laughs> Directly with the directors? Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Anyway, I'm going to run through it. I'm going to bring the video up on screen here, run through the pictures, explain to you exactly who Arnold and Murto met and why for me it is a big moment. This is a significant development in De Jong's move to Manchester United. Remember, Frankie De Jong is due back at Barcelona today and both Arnold and Murto are there. Let me run through with you here and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. I always try and bring you the, the, the most up-to-date and accurate news whenever I can. This is the news. This is coming from Gerard Romero. You don't need sound in this video because there literally is no sound. But here you can see Richard Arnold on the left there with John Murto on the right hand side. And this is a video from Barcelona today. Presumably that's, I don't know, someone else walking away from him. Remember that Gerard Romero, is that Jordi Cruyff? I think that might be Jordi Cruyff. Um, remember that Gerard Romero is a journalist that said, Mr. 95% happening, man. Yeah, that, that was Jordi Cruyff. I don't know who else is meeting here. But these are who we, this is who he met. Matthew Alemeni, Rafa Juste, and Jordi Cruyff. And I'll explain exactly who they are. But this is a big moment, right? Because the CEO of a football club does not fly out to the club who is selling for a light-hearted chat about whether or not that player is for sale. This means that this deal is further down the line than maybe some of us thought. I, 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 we all know it's pretty damn far down the line anyway. And the interesting part on top of that is this. Last Thursday, who was in Barcelona? That would be, of course, John Murto and Richard Arnold. This is the second time in two weeks that both of them are out there. Now, of course, I covered everything that happened last week, and I will run through that a little bit more in this, in this video, in a little bit more detail, uh, about the uh, deferred wages and everything that's been delayed there. But exactly who did they meet? You can see here, direct, this is from Barcelona's official website, looking at the sporting and football structure at the club. Director responsible for the sports area. So that's what that means. Rafael Juste, the director of football, Mathieu Alemene and the International Department Director, Jordi Cruyff. I thought he was down as like a sporting director, but maybe that's exactly what that is as well. They are the three people that met with John Murto and Richard Arnold today in Barcelona. And I've looked, I've not been bringing you headlines saying, DLR, Frankie De Jong, oh, he's staying, oh, he's not for sale, because I've, I'm avoiding getting caught up in that hype of it. Because if you do that, and you report in all these situations, you're doing what Barcelona want. You're allowing that hype train to be continued because look, last week here, Frankie Dion, Barcelona's president, Joan Laporta, tells Manchester United the player is not for sale. He said, unless we feel the need or the interest to sell him, we won't do it. Dion isn't for sale. And then he met with Manchester United the very next day. Almost like he's lying through his back teeth. Almost like he's an elected politician, almost like he's just saying what needs to be said in public to retain support of Barcelona fans, whilst at the same time doing something completely and utterly different behind the scenes. And that there was absolutely no need whatsoever to cause hysteria by suggesting that Barcelona were actually going to keep on to Frankie de Jong and they never intended to sell him. What we're seeing here is, a, is Barcelona flexing. We've been watching Barcelona flex in public and trying to pretend that he's not for sale when he's been for sale the entire time. And I've known that. You've known that. Now, of course, the big holding point, which we spoke about last week in a bit of detail, all surrounds these wages. You can see here, this is the uh, contract of Frankie de Jong for the wages over the next four years. 18 million, 18 million, 18 million, and 19 million. Now, de Jong's contract legally is for 14 million. But because he deferred, he dropped his wages to 3 million, I think, in 2020, 21. And then down to, what was it? 6 million? Either way, he was owed like 17 million-ish euros. There are thereabouts in wages plus bonuses and that's why his contract was going to go up to that height to that height over the next four years so by deferring his wages he helped barcelona through the crisis the coronavirus crisis and the pandemic and the costs of it because he had no intention of leaving the club 
He had every intention of staying at Barcelona for the next few years. He saw his short and long-term future at the club. And then, all of a sudden, Barcelona go, well, get me, we're in financial crisis. Think we're screwed. And now Frankie de Jong is for sale. And Frankie de Jong, it looks like he's on his way to Manchester United. I've been saying... I've been firm about it for, for some time now that I've just felt this is a situation that I think will end with Frankie de Jong joining Manchester United. The fact that Richard Arnold is there is big news. And the fact that he was there last week means this is the second week in succession that Richard Arnold has gone out there. You really, really think that Richard Arnold is going to be flying? What, what, is he going to fly out? I don't know. Who else? Who else? Is he going to fly out to Ajax and meet them every single time they want to have a quick chit-chat about... Lissandro Martinez. No, he's not. He's gone there because this has been a very difficult and protracted set of negotiations for John Murto to be involved in. Because of the deferred wages, because of Barcelona's public stance that he's not for sale, well, apart from the fact that they're still meeting him. And now Richard Arnold is out there. He's met them. I think this is a really good sign. And hopefully we can now get that development this week. Because the developments, the, the, the upfront fee has already been agreed. 65 million euros. We know full well that Ten Hag has spoken to Frankie de Jong and has been given assurances by de Jong that he'd be happy in Manchester. That he'd be happy at Manchester United and be happy to join the club. Even if staying in Barcelona is the ultimate ambition of him because it's his dream club. And as I said, <laughs> because he's owed a damn load of money. And if he was to walk away from that, this, I don't know how this gets fixed. I, I don't know what the solution is. The solution for Barcelona would be like, oh, add that onto the transfer fee so we don't have to pay it. Brilliant. But they legally and contractually owe Frankie de Jong those wages. He did a, probably by the sounds of it, a gentleman's agreement maybe. Although if he's smart, his agent would know where, his agent wouldn't have let him do that on a gentleman's agreement. Nobody makes a verbal handshake with a football club for 16 million that they're going to owe you. Especially a club like Barcelona, which has been in such financial ruin for so many years. I don't imagine, I imagine it was probably like an amendment that was added onto the contract legally, but didn't have to get reported. But I'm making assumptions there. I've got absolutely no idea. But either way, these deferred wages have definitely held it up. But I'm positive now. I'm, I'm happy. I think that's really, really good news that Richard Arnold and John Murto are there. And hopefully now this week, I think we can... Why can't we? Why can't we get that agreement in place? Barcelona have been digging their heels in and digging their heels in. Maybe it's been to do with Rafinha going to Barcelona. Now, uh, Fabrizio Romano was saying that earlier today that they've got, a, they've got a verbal agreement for 72 million euros guaranteed. And now that that's going to go through, maybe they've been waiting to do that to try and then combine the news so you can uh, bury bad news. Because again, that will be a very, very natural thing for a political party to do. I mean, Boris Johnson's been great at that. Well, not great at that, but that's what he always goes for. And maybe they're just going to try and match those announcements up of De Jong going to Manchester United and Rafinha coming into Barcelona to try and bury the bad news. But look, I think this is a significant development. As I said, the CEO of a football club does not fly out to have a quick chat to find out if Frankie De Jong really is for sale. To find out whether or not he could join Manchester United. The CEO flies out when you're getting towards the final stages. Now, that might be an assumption of mine, but that's... It wouldn't make any sense otherwise for him to be there. So I'm feeling pretty positive about that. And the fact that he was there last week as well, really good news. As I'll run through there, the three people that they met. As I said, it's Rafael Uyuste, director of sports, of, I don't know what sports arena is, director of football. The three highest people up in terms of the structure there, other than the presidents. Now, I think that we should expect to get real developments now. That is a, that is a massive development. But now this week, Let's get it done. Gerard Romero, Mr. 95% man. I've been kind of taking the piss out of him, but fair play. He's got the exclusive on that one, which is now being reported everywhere. Let's see what happens next. Is the next announcement going to be, not here we go, but like on, on, on the add-ons, on those deferred wages? Because it is those deferred wages. That's the thing that's held up this whole time. Not this whole time, but in the last couple of weeks. Who pays them? I don't know. But that's a big update. I wanted to bring it to you. I could have waited until tomorrow morning and bring that in the live stream, but maybe something else would have happened by then. That's why I'm bringing you this video this afternoon because I will do this throughout the entire summer. When there is breaking news, I will cover it for you as accurately as possible. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. And are you, are you excited about the De Jong deal? Are you still not letting yourself get excited? Or does the fact that Richard Arnold and John Murto being there, does that fill you with a bit more hope that this deal will get done?
You let me know what you think in the comments below, as you always do.